and Satan was at the helm of the whole system, setting up a system for which we only had two options. You see, the world is only going to give you two options, bad or worse, right? Bad or worse. And it's not going to be good or bad. It's going to be bad or worse. The, 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 the option is the lesser of two evils. We want you to choose the lesser of two evils. And so here's what he said. He says, when you hear the music, if you would bow down and worship the music, then worship the image that I have set up, I set it up. I set up the system. I, if you worship, if you worship the image that I have set up for you, then the only thing you will have lost is your faith. But if you don't set up, if you don't worship the image that I set for you, you're going to have to face the fire and I will throw you into the fiery furnace. And who's going to save you from the fiery furnace? So there is a way, however, the Bible says that seems right to a man, but the end thereof is death. So you see what I mean? There's always de the devil always gives us an ultimatum uh, to, you know, to, to actually do what he wants us to do. But, but the Bible tells us there is a way that seems right, a way that seems right to a man, but the end thereof is death. That's Proverbs chapter 14, verse 12. So listen, we are in a time now when there is a way that seems right. There is something that seems right. And, and so we say, well, the lesser of the two evils, I don't support, um, you know, homosexual, I don't support abortion, I don't support uh, gay rights, I don't support this and I don't support that. So I guess I'm going to support uh, this other option, which is going to be something that's, you know, forthcoming, right? Uh, so what do we have to go with? Well, we have this person against that person. And see, that's just how the devil does it. The devil gives us only two options. We don't actually actually judge from two options, though. This is the thing that we need to realize. God does not want us playing the devil's game. God does not want us uh, being locked into a framework that the, that the uh, world sets up for us. If, if you think about what scripture tells us, the scripture tells us to center our mind on Christ and things above, you know, look for things above, not things on this earth. 